Hey guys, John here. I'm going to do an update. I found a bunch of singles in a thrift store about a month ago and I haven't showed them yet. And I scored. This thrift store usually stinks, but I found a box it was stacked under other boxes, opened up. There was like junk in there, but it was a bunch of singles that hadn't been gone through. And I, I looked at a bunch of promo copies. I got some good stuff, mostly soul and funk from the late 70s, early 60s promo copies. And not all promo copies, but most of them. This is the rim shots on A1 Records from 1972 doing Soul Train Part 1 and Part 2. And it's a killer instrumental. Really good. Good for the dance floor. Good one to DJ. Really good record. This one I didn't know. This chick is Gene Wells. This is a promo copy on Kala from, I think, 1967. And it's uh, After Loving You is the A side. I actually really like the B side, but these are both really good. Maybe I'll needle drop it. But Cala Records, I don't know anything about her, but Cala Records was the uh, henchman of Morris Levy from uh, Roulette Records. And he started up this label, and I think he had to skip town, and then the label folded. Definitely a mob label, Cala Records. Uh, I got Little Milton, more blues kind of soul guy. But uh, this is from, I think, geez, I'd say, it was I can't remember, late 70s, but this is way more... Uh, funky and stuff this track called your people on checker is uh more of like a, like has a message it's more upbeat soul the a side might be my baby something else it's a pretty good single i got a later mickey and sylvia which is like funky and soulish from 72 very different than the the typical mickey and sylvia and this is on stang records just cool uh cool stuff i got a later coasters from 1972 promo on king of them doing dw washburn which is not a great tune but they update and do love potion number nine like funky soulish real dancer this one big coasters fan but interesting to hear them in 72 the best record of the of the lot is this one i saw this i didn't know what it was i saw this indie label promo copy i said this is mid 60s a band called the traits i'd never heard of i said this is going to be garage rock it's got to be something good and when i took it home and played it with soul and then i realized i looked it up it's it's roy head in the traits roy head famous you know i have this I, his i have a few of his singles but uh famous for a treat or right but without seeing roy head on there i didn't think of the traits his backup band if i even remembered that but this is absolutely out of this world uh blue-eyed soul just killer too good to be true true and gotta keep you uh gotta keep gotta keep my cool but this record is, is median prices is, is like 120 bucks this promo copy so this was a score but this is probably the best one of the batch just musically too cool james brown on the polydor i like this 1972 got ants in my pants part one and part 15 but i like this label with his face on there Here's a promo copy, not soul. It's a frigid pink from Detroit. This isn't very good. Lazy Day and Earth Omen on the other side, but I took a chance. I didn't know they have some good stuff. They're a little heavy, heavy rock, a little soulish, you know, but Detroit rock and roll. This one was also interesting. Osabisa, which is a, I think an African band, but they lived in England. So this was recorded in England, a promo copy, kind of like Afro beats, a little funkish, a little African interesting this one i don't think was any good i can't remember now the catalinas i grabbed this hoping it was something cool and uh you haven't the right it's probably like 60s i don't know i think it was popish but and tiktok but this one i don't think was any good this one's also not that great percy sledge uh promo from i think 72 um out of left field can't be stopped it was okay this one was good uh Clarence Carter, Funky Fever. This is a good uh, early funk one and Slip Away promo copy. And this is also around, I think, 72, 71. This is an interesting one. Bobby Machan, he was like a drag, drag queen performer, soul guy. And this is a, I guess that's a promo copy, huh? I can't, yeah, promo copy. Help yourself and you better hold on on the Cameo Parkway label from probably around 67. This one was great, and I knew it was going to be great. You could just tell. This is Stax Record promo. I never heard of this guy, Sir Mac Rice, but uh, the song's called Mini Skirt Mini, and this is Killer from 1966, promo Stax. The B-side, just an instrumental, and that says the plug side. 
So that's the that's the side to promote for the DJs. This one was good. Mavis Staples, she was a, a soul singer. This was 1970. I can't remember if this one was that great or not, but cool promo on on Volt. And as the X, that's for the DJs. They know what side to play. That's uh, I have learned to do without you. And the other side is since I fell for you. Pretty cool. This is a killer here. King Curtis. Uh, King Curtis, probably rock and roll's greatest sax player. Played with everybody. But uh, most famous stuff is the stuff he did with the Coasters in the 50s. And back to Aretha Franklin. Sam Cooke. I think he played with Buddy Holly. He's on the John Lennon Imagine record. And... He was murdered in 1971, and this came out in 1970. This is one of his very last singles, and it's a cover of Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin on a promo at Co label. And there's the stereo side, and there's the mono side. And this is just killer. And I wanted this record. I knew I, this has been on my list. So I'll find a promo copy. Beautiful sleeve. This is a killer. And this I did not get in a batch. I don't know. Things get mixed up. This is an original Coasters, just to show it on the Atco label. And that's Searchin' and Youngblood, a double sider. Killer. Killer record, too. This one's great. Uh, Rufus Thomas, 50s uh, blues shouter from Memphis. And this is him in 72, doing Itch and Scratch on a promo Stax label. And Itch and Scratch Part 2. And he's great. Great, funky, early funky music. Killer. Here is uh, Bunker Hill on the Mala label doing Hide and Go Seek and Hide and Go Seek Part 2. two. This is uh, R&B Shouter. This is uh, Bunker Hill's one of the wildest uh, R&B rock and roll shouters there was. Only cut a few singles, but killer. And this one's an old doo-wop classic. It was the Fiestas on the Old Town. This is pretty common. This is Last Night I Dreamed, but the B-side, I believe this is the B-side, so fine. Just a big oldies hit and this just sounds beautiful on this and i also got from like another 1972 promo is uh blue ace the cult cities on flame one of their first singles or i think they had an ep i'm not sure but either way this is very early and this is on stereo on the columbia label and the b-side's mono but the mono is just a fold down it sounds pretty lousy but nice to have this if you if i'm out and i need to spin this columbia and I was going to needle drop, but maybe I'll play them live at some point. Thanks for watching, and uh, cheers, everybody.